And so it's really awesome to open our hearts to receive the message of truth. And it's good to know that you have chosen to be here this morning. And the channel through which the message comes is our beloved and beautiful Reverend Anne. And so I'd like to invite you to raise your right hand, raise your left hand facing each other, and bring them together in a very forceful manner to make a loud noise. <laughs> to welcome Reverend Anne. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Let me add my own words of welcome to all and to our visitors worshiping with us for the very first time. See, Jordan, you brought a friend. <laughs> and our own web family on the World Wide Web. This past week included Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, the Jewish Festival of Lights, and today, Advent, the first day of the beginning of the Christmas season, all celebrating the miraculous in some way. The miracle of gratitude and family, the rededication of the completion of the second temple of the Jews in Jerusalem, the miraculous burning of one day's oil to eight days, which ensured triumph over enemies for the Maccabees, and the recognition and awakening of the Christ, the divine in man, in the form of Jesus the Christ, or way sure. On the mundane side of life, for this season, our merchants transform us miraculously from normal, sane people who live by budgets into frenzied shoppers searching for gifts for our loved ones, throwing out totally all caution to the wind and forgetting the financial goals that we set for ourselves. It works. <laughs> a miracle is usually seen as an occurrence that defies the natural outcome of events. Sometimes defying the natural laws of nature. Adjectives used to describe miracles include supernatural, divine intervention. However, the book Shortcut to a Miracle, written by Ran and Ran Arat, state that this type of belief is misleading. In fact, and I quote, no matter how improbable the possibility of a miracle may have seemed beforehand, after it has occurred, we are able to look back and see that it unfolded with great ease and through natural means. It is always a natural and amazingly simple unfoldment, end of quote. The story is given about a man repairing the roof of a tall cathedral. Suddenly he slips and begins an out of control slide toward the edge of the roof. He throws his tools aside and onlookers watch in horror as he continues sliding. They hear him cry piteously, God save me, God save me. There is a pause. He stops sliding. And then they hear him say, never mind God, the belt got caught on a rail. <laughs> Divine intervention. <laughs> the book continues that a miracle is really a natural happening responding to universal laws. And in reality, we use these laws every day as we live our lives. So a miracle is a series of natural events occurring in the right sequence and at the right time to produce wonderful results, and not a phenomenon that is difficult to envisage. So in my opinion, each one of us on a daily basis enable miracles in our lives by the use of the natural laws of the universe. We are the thinkers of our worlds. We therefore choose the thoughts we think, and thus we are the creators of our own thought patterns. Those dominant thought patterns manifest in our lives. The universe supports us fully in bringing the manifestation of thought patterns into, actual, into actuality through guidance and direction 
thereby attracting into our lives all that is necessary for our growth and unfoldment. Albert Einstein said, and I quote, there are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is a miracle. End of quote. My thoughts this morning are looking at the elements of a miracle consciousness. First, the same power intelligence that created the first miracle of the universe and of life itself created each one of us in its own image and likeness. Therefore, that self-same power and intelligence is responsible for the miracles in our lives. It operates according to law. Miracles happen through us as instruments or expressions of that power and intelligence. And therefore, our belief in the process is only a part of the equation. Dr. Michael Beckwith at a conference in 2005 state, stated, and I quote, the miracle, as you know by now, is you. As a multidimensional being, the miracle is you. A prism of infinite potential, the essence of perpetuity. The miracle is the divine idea unfolding through eternity, bringing more, becoming, sorry, more and more conscious of itself. With your earnestness, your sincerity, and deep practice, you realize that you are the miracle. A miracle isn't something that happens to you. It is you being more of yourself." End of quote. This season, the Advent, Hanukkah, reminds us of the miracle of the divine unfolding in each one of us, awakening to more and more of ourselves, which is a consciousness of miracles that each one of us individualize. Our teaching the science of mind correlated by our founder, Dr. Ernest Holmes, reminds us, and I quote, the universal spirit, which is God, operates through a universal mind, which is the law of God, and that we are surrounded by this creative mind, which receives the direct impress of our thought and acts upon it. Simply the thoughts we think are directly impressed on our subconscious mind, which acts on them, and the outcome is their physical manifestation in our lives. Scientifically, quantum physics supports this. Our thought energy interacts with in invisible particles, the quantum, and a change ensues from unexpressed potentiality to expressed actuality, the physical demonstration of the thought pattern. So the basic foundation to all of this is thought. Therefore, how we think form the elements of a consciousness of miracles. So as we celebrate this season, as we awaken to the divine within us, we celebrate the unfolding of more and more of ourselves, the infinite potential within us. We open our eyes, deepen our awareness of the miracle of everyday living. Therefore, our communication with each other must earnestly and sincerely reflect our recognition of the miracle of the divine within each one. Already we operate in the miracle of networking and computer transmissions, where one fact is known in one point of the universe, and it is known at all points, where there is no time or space as information is transmitted to each other on a global scale. The wonder of all of this we somehow take for granted when we send our text messages or we send our emails. Our thought energy becomes ideas which can be transmitted invisibly everywhere. Reminds me of the meaning of the omnipresence of God, which is equally present everywhere. So as we stop and think how much of a miracle each one of us is, we must pay attention to our values which underscore the quality of our thoughts, beliefs, which are the substance of miracles. We must stop and think of our values that are important to us. These values must support our vision and mission, how we live our lives. That is our purpose, our gift to life itself, the world. How we contribute to ensuring that our world works for everyone. Have you ever listed your values? Prioritizing them based on how we see or want to experience our extraordinary, miraculous life, which is completely natural. 
reminding ourselves that these values serve as filters for choices, decisions that define us as individualized expressions of that infinite power intelligence that created us? But how does a consciousness of miracles impact on our day-to-day -day existence? A consciousness of miracles allows us to see life as an unending portrait of light. No matter what the circumstances, the outer effects look like, because we understand that they can be changed to whatever we really want to experience. To understand the thoughts of today out picture as the expressions of our life experiences tomorrow. So therefore, no judgment, no anxiety, just focus. A consciousness of miracles permits us to live with indomitable faith, even if our feelings are not supporting our vision. With faith, we can rekindle the fire of purpose, inspire ourselves to move into the direction of our desired experience. We can stand up with courage because we are free from bigotry, opinions that do not serve us because we are free. We are true to our identity and respect that in all other persons who we meet, associate with, or love. A consciousness of miracles allows us always to take the first step without fear in the movement towards the fruition of our desired experience. We can forgive because we love without judgment. It permits us to move forward without knowing what is around the next bend because we have faith because we know the universe must support us as we are fully aligned with universal law. A consciousness of miracles allows us to find balance and equilibrium in all things. We live ethically and morally, so we are able to maintain our focus, our direction, because we are always moving confidently in the direction of our highest good. A consciousness of miracles permits us always to see the miracle behind every event of life. We see opportunities where there are seeming obstacles. We are able to see possibilities in all situations, whether we label them good or bad. It does not make a difference, because we know that our thought pattern will make everything possible. We have the support of an infinite power and intelligence that is continuously creating universes as we speak. That is what incarnated each one of us out of itself. Therefore, we are one with the one. Then how can we fail? There are no failures in universal mind. With God, all things are possible. A consciousness of miracles permits us always to live in constant and continuous gratitude. Before we ask, it has already been provided. In fact, every moment is lived with pure expectancy because we cannot escape our highest good. The very environment we live in is charged with peace, harmony. Our loved ones live in an encircling scenario of love, unfailing good, secure in the knowledge and understanding that the life of man is the life of God. But what kind of values will support a consciousness of miracles? First one is commitment. We must remain committed to experiencing this consciousness of miracles. We train ourselves to maintain our mental household, totally aligned to our true purpose of life. Metaphysically, Mary, the mother, the mother of Jesus, represents the soul that magnifies the Lord daily in the temple and through its devotions prepares itself for the higher life. She signifies the divine motherhood of love and also the intuition. So daily in the secret place within, the heart of our temple, we practice the presence of God through our affirmative prayer, meditations, listening to the still small voice of the Most High through our intuitive faculty. We stay committed to living our truth and thereby keeping all commitments to ourselves and all other selves. Compassion, we are our brother. We live from a standpoint of unconditional love. We need to look out for each other. Each of us represent the Christ, no matter the condition. We look at service, not as servitude, but with joy, in assisting each other to realize their highest good. We support each other without judgment, without criticism. 
Support does not necessarily mean counseling or giving advice, but to maintain a mental stance that sees the Christ in our brother, our friends, anyone, even those who are not in agreement with our goals and aspirations. Three, devotion. In the face of instability, changes in our environment, in ourselves and in all other selves, we stay focused to living our cause, a life in keeping with our vision, and the big cause, God. We stay devoted to ideas that support the vision and mission of our life. We expand our consciousness through study and information, opening always new ways to think and to be. Effort. Friends, no matter what the outcome looks like in a particular experience, there is always value in the effort to accomplish goals, as long as it was authentic and well-intended. Our intentions are important as they form the foundation from which the effort springs from. If the effort is authentic or well-intended, there is no wasting of time, because everything must support the vision as well as we are able to see opportunities behind every outcome. That is part of our consciousness of miracles. The fifth value is gratitude. A grateful heart can accomplish all things. A grateful heart permits us to see the good, the true, the beautiful in all situations. A grateful heart facilitates miracles. Honesty. Our hearts must remain pure and true to our life experience of love, joy, light, peace, power, and beauty. At all times, we can understand where we are in mind, thereby removing doubt, fear, uncertainty, or insincerity, judgments from our mental household. We know who we are, and we must remain true to that for ourselves, and all other selves. <clears throat> Integrity. How we respond to life experience, to our life experiences, defines our integrity and character. This value relates directly to how we live our mission and vision. Everything we think, say, be, and do must consistently and constantly reflect our consciousness of miracles. We do not react to anything without thought. We pause, remember who we are, and then act. When the telephone rings, before we answer, bring to mind the Christ within before we speak. Before we enter a building or leave, we remember the Christ. That means we bless every establishment, every interaction, every move that we make. Patience. This is a value that improves productivity. It creates a better state of mind, clarity, and better decision making. Patience means attaining a state of mind that beholds the world from the harmony of the Christ within. Its characteristics are poise, calmness, totally unflappable in the face of all events, a quiet, restful trust. Its foundation is from the individualization of love. To develop patience, we must have the understanding that the larger our vision of life, the more freedom we experience. Our thinking is not based on personality, but on oneness with God and all other selves. Patience allows us to be self-controlled. We are able to direct our thoughts and actions in the right way. We practice right thinking, thereby experience right action at all times, remain true to our vision, and we are able to view life single-eyed. Patience is a product of immense faith. Sacrifice. Being single-eyed permits us to work through all occurrences until the outcome is experienced. We get rid of old beliefs, attitudes, thought patterns that no longer serve us. We let the old man die, and with renewed thinking, experience a whole new world. 10, tolerance. This value allows us to respect all other selves. We treat each other with courtesy. We are patient with ourselves and others without judgment. 
and we are supporting to all other selves. We, we are able to see the Christ in each and every one. Friends, there are other values which you may have, but look at them all with the view of prioritizing the ones that, if emulated, will allow us to live from a consciousness of miracles. This consciousness which permits us to view life as an extraordinary natural process of unfoldment and growth. With a miracle consciousness, we facilitate the manifestation of infinite good in our lives in every moment. Spontaneous right action is normal and natural to us. We are movers and shakers. We are catalysts to the unfolding of greater good in our world, which must work for everyone. Friends, let the miracle of this season awaken the divine within. This is a miracle gift we all have been given. Let its love, life, light, and joy fill us with peace, power, and beauty as we live each day with a consciousness of miracles. Mary Manning Morris reminds us that a miracle is God reminding us, I am here. It is the warm feeling of gratitude within us as we remember that we are beautiful, unique individualizations of God whose every heart's desire is fulfilled through each one of us. So can you say with me, after three in a loud voice, I am a miracle. After three, one, I want you to think about it. I want your consciousness to just get the ethos of what being a miracle means before you come out with it. One, two, three. I am a miracle. In a half voice. I am a miracle. In a whisper in your heart. Namaste.